in resource hubs around the world. Prefabricated modular components are enhancing construction efficiency. The modules are getting bigger. Moving them from fabrication yard to construction site on time requires a new breed of global logistics specialists, like FLS. Few modular loads pose bigger transportation challenges than this surge bin for Gladstone's new Wiggins Island coal export terminal. Fabrication in Vietnam offers compelling construction efficiencies. But the design of the 24 metre tall, 350 tonne structure demands that it make the journey to Australia upright. FLS logistics planners are engaged by the Wiggins Island project contractor before fabrication of the bin structure starts, working with designers to plan every phase of the journey to Australia. They look after every stage of the process, including thorough cleaning at the yard to satisfy Australian quarantine requirements. The 20 kilometre downriver barge journey from fabrication yard to deep water port and the deep water transfer of the bin from barge to heavy lift cargo ship. The centre of gravity is very high up on the bin. We had to come up with a solution for sea fastening, which uh, would ensure a safe transit of the vessel. The fastening design solution involves an array of rigid pipe lashings installed after the bin is positioned on the ship's deck. Welded into place, they will restrain the towering, top-heavy deck cargo during the two-week ocean crossing. The FLS shipping plan covers every detail, right down to a requirement for daily inspection of the pipe lashings, to ensure the constant movement of the ship's hull doesn't compromise the security of the wells. After two weeks cruising at a steady 13 knots, the ship and her remarkable deck cargo reaches Gladstone. Now the whole process from the Vietnam end is repeated in reverse. The pipe lashings which stabilised the load are no longer needed, so they go. There's a cursory quarantine inspection. A special biosecurity plan for the cargo means the full inspection can occur after unloading at Wiggins Island. Because of the nature of the size of this cargo, uh, particularly the surge bin, um, it was far more economical for us to put it over the other side of the ship and land it on a barge and do the final inspections at site. Uh, we work with quarantine, uh, we developed a biosecurity management plan uh, uh, that would, would enable us to do that. With a 3,000 ton barge waiting, the onboard cranes lift the delicate load clear of the deck. And while counterballasting keeps the ship level, the bin is gently swung over the seaward side, manoeuvred into position and secured to the barge deck. Then a short passage across Gladstone Harbour to the Wiggins Island Coal Export Terminal construction site. There is just a small window of unloading opportunity on a rising or falling tide as the barge aligns with the height of the wharf. Then, 10 months after the meticulous planning started, the surge bin is at site and ready for installation. This was a critical mission for the coal terminal construction program. Any hitch could have caused significant delays in project completion. Project manager LFM engaged FLS months before fabrication started to act as a logistics partner, providing an end-to-end -end solution to a potentially daunting transport requirement. A single point of contact to manage the risk for this complex task. There are other challenges in this shipment including 11 large gallery components prefabricated with concrete slab sections already in place. 
They range from 40 to 78 tonnes and need careful handling with no flexing in loading, transit or unloading. FLS is a specialist in super heavy lifts and out of gauge cargoes. With our experience, we believe we can deliver anything, anywhere, anytime. FLS, delivering tailor-made solutions for global logistics challenges.